Hello my lovely Aries, I hope whenever you're watching this you are having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising. Please take the energy that resonates, if it doesn't resonate then please leave it where it is. Don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and that notification bell and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. It will also really help my channel grow, which is something I'm really trying hard to do so that I can reach more people and hopefully give them a little bit of clarity in their time of need because I know tarot really helped me when I was struggling. Uh, so any love and support you could send our way, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Today is your love reading area, so oh, let's get straight on with it. So Angel Spirit guys, what message do you have for our lovely areas today, please? Okay, what message do you have for our lovely Aries? Can you give me one more card, please? What is the card they need to see? Okay. So you have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So what is it that you want, Aries? Like, what is it that you really want, that you truly desire? It's easy to say, well, I want this, but... There should be no but. And take that as you want to. <laughs> but there should be no, um, no choices. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, there should be no choices. It should be like very clear and precise of what it is that you want from a relationship. And if you're not getting that in a current relationship that you're in, you need to really sit and think about what where you want to go with the relationship or talk to the to your other person uh, to see if there could be any changes made. <laughs> okay, oh, should I stop and restart? No, let's keep going. Okay, so um, then we've got this one, let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Your values and your beliefs are very, very important, but you might be trying to change someone into your own values and beliefs rather than them have their own what it should be is two people should have very similar I don't think they should have the same because I feel that we need to learn from each other but I feel that you need to have very similar values and very similar beliefs about a relationship and what you expect of it but also have that flexibility and I feel that you are trying to control the situation you're trying to control it or they are trying to control it and turn your mindset around a little bit um but the thing is, if you, if either of you are trying to be controlling of the relationship, um, it's not going to work and one of you will have, will walk away. So if you want the relationship to work, then you need to let go of any control issues or you need to talk to your person and tell them how you feel so they can let go of their control issues towards you. Because if it's not serving you and it's actually making you feel awful about yourself then you need to walk away but I do feel there are children involved in this and that's one of the reasons why you're kind of staying your love life is being affected by children so you might not be 100% happy or you know that there's things that need to change but you're you don't want to go to the person or you don't want to um, change things because you're worried about that any if there are any children involved in this situation I mean you could not be with your part your ex your the children's um of a parent you might not be involved with them but you might be involved with someone else that your children have got attached to and that's why you're scared of this break but you know that maybe this relationship isn't making you happy now i do believe that you know everyone's got their choice to work on it or not but that is that is completely up to you but the the thing is on the bottom of the deck it is unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I feel that you are in a relationship with um, someone. It could be the other parent to your children or it could be uh, somebody that you've met that your children have grown fond of um, or you've gone, grown fond of their children and you're struggling to kind of walk away from it. But I feel that you you really need to get clear on what you want out of a relationship what your values and what your beliefs are because if you stick by them and you do the things that are in line with them then things will work out right for you but there might be a bit of a time where things might not go very well but again communicate 
with your person, be honest with them and then go from there and see if you can work it out together. If you try everything that you can, if you let go of control issues or they let go of control issues, maybe things will be different. You've got the King of Coins or the King of Pentacles. I feel that you need to um, be very disciplined with yourself and not have that Eight of Cups. Oh. I don't like doing these readings, but I've got to give you what the reading says. You've got to be very disciplined with yourself here. And in that way, I feel that you need to be disciplined in what you want. Can you show me one more card, please? One more card for our lovely Aries love life, please. What do they need to know? Three of Coins. Oh. Three of Swords. Okay, I'm just going to read what the cards say. Okay. The King of Coins is all about stepping into your leadership and being and having abundance coming towards you. I feel that you need to make some very tough decisions right now, Aries, over something over what your values and your beliefs are and whether you want to continue in a relationship that you might be in. And I feel that it's going to be really, really tough and you need to be very disciplined with yourself and be very confident in what you want out of a relationship, but not just that, what you also want out of life. If you're not getting what you want out of life right now, then you need to start taking the steps towards it. And I feel that when you do make this decision and whatever decision you decide to make is your choice, I feel that abundance is going to be coming your way. But right now, I feel that you, you don't know which way to turn. So you need to be very strong here. Because you have got the Eight of Cups. And Eight of Cups is about walking away and really doing that soul searching within and asking yourself, are you happy? And I feel that another question is, could you be happy with this person for the rest of your life? I also feel that you might be scared of being alone. And that's one of the reasons you might be staying. I feel one of the reasons you might be saying is because there's children involved in some way. But sometimes the strongest thing that we can do is to walk away from something that no longer serves us. Because if we continue to stay in the situation that is no longer serving us, we will only become more and more unhappy and our children will get affected by it. By us lighting ourselves up, even if we have to go through pain, but by doing the right thing, by being honest and showing integrity all the time, you are actually showing your children or any other child that's involved that it is okay to do what is best for you when you know it's right. And sometimes doing the right thing has to be the hardest thing. My ex-husband walked away from me and I was six months pregnant. And it was the hardest thing that I've had to go through. One of them, not the hardest. It was one of them, but it wasn't the hardest thing I've had to do. Um, but that must have been very, very difficult for him to walk away from me. Really hard for him. And I think he had a lot of courage to do it. And I respect him for that. You've also got the three of coins or it, the three of pentacles. They're interchangeable. The three of coins, three of pentacles. It's all about working together. Um, you could, I think you two could work together. You could go and get counselling or you could just communicate with each other and see if it's something you want to do. Um, you know, by communicating with your other person to see whether or not they actually want to... Um, work at this or whether they feel the same way and they feel that this relationship is done but I feel that you are going to work together um, to either rebuild the relationship or you're going to work together to if this relationship ends to make it as peaceful and amicable as possible for the children involved but also for each other too 
And then on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Three of Swords, the Heartbreak. And it's going to hurt and it's going to suck and you're going to feel like you failed and you feel going to like you've made a mistake and you're going to feel like if I did this, if I did that, if I did this, and then maybe things would be different because you're in pain. Lean into your emotions. Just feel all that pain. Cry, scream, punch a bloody pillow if you need to. And then once you've got everything out and you've cried everything out, release it. And know that there was a reason why you did it. And now it's time to walk towards something new. And that's not going to happen in a day or two days or even a month or even in six months. It's going to take time. And you cry and you scream and you shout for as many or as long as you need to. So angel spirit guys, show me what our lovely Aries need to know, please. About their love life. Okay. <laughs> Eight of swords. Yep. I have a feeling that one might come out. Oh, Ace of Cups. Things are looking up. She puts one switched over then. Or oh, am I seeing it? No, there is one there. I knew there was. Three of Swords again. And on the bottom of the deck, we've got the Two of Wands. So the Eight of Swords is you feeling trapped. Um, you've got your hands tied, you've got your blindfold on. And this is how you see yourself. Because if you see, she's looking in the mirror. And this is how you see yourself. You're feeling trapped in, in this relationship. You feel like you don't know which way to go. You feel at a loss. Even if you walk away from it, you feel like you've trapped yourself into this, this life that is not necessarily what you want. Maybe you had everything, the 2.4 children and everything, everything that was needed. And all of a sudden you've walked away from it or to, for just you and the kids or or just you or whatever it may be. And you just feel like your hands are tied, your blindfolds on, and you're terrified. But look who's looking in the mirror, the real you. And you have the power to take all this off. Because this is just an illusion. This is just an illusion, because this is real. You need to do what is right by you, not by what you feel is right for others. Because your happiness will rub off on your children. So untangle yourself. Because the Ace of Cups, you will have something new coming in. The Ace of Cups is that you're gonna start having some new feelings towards someone eventually. I don't think it's gonna happen straight away, but eventually you will. And you're gonna start becoming really, really happy. You're going to have to learn to trust yourself and trust your instincts. I feel that you've always had someone to depend on and now it's just you and you're not sure if you're making the right decisions or the right choices, but trust yourself um, because you are going to be okay. Um, you're going to grow as a person. You're going to start really understanding who you are. You're going to um, have a lot of compassion towards others. And I feel that then somebody in time is going to be coming towards you. And they'll be showing you a lot of compassion, a lot of intimacy, a lot of romance. And you'll be having these feelings that you've not felt before. Or you've not felt for a really long time. And it's going to fill your cup up and you're going to be really happy. But right now you, have, you are going through a heartbreak. Whether you're in a relationship and you feel trapped, it hurts, it's heartbreak. Or whether you're deciding whether to walk away or whether you've walked away, it hurts, it's heartbreak. Take the time to heal. This Ace of Cups, this fulfillment, this, this is, it's going to come to you. Okay, it's all going to come to you. But don't rush it because it won't be true if you rush it. Really heal from the heartbreak first. So on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is making that decision and you've got one big ass decision to make. But as you can see, she's looking out into the world. She's got her globe down by her side and it's you looking out and making plans for the future making plans um and making adjustments to your life so that you can attract a new love in a new romantic love um when you're ready but it's time for you to start making plans for your future when you've kind of moved on from the heartbreak Okay. Angel spirit, guys, can you give us some um, 
final cards for our lovely Aries reading, please. So we've got the Hangman and we've got the Seven of Pentacles. One more card, please. Can we have one more card, please, for our lovely Aries love life, please? Right, we'll take them both. So we've got the Nine of Wands and we've got the Eight of Wands and on the bottom of the deck is the Death card. So the Hanged Man is about looking at things from a different perspective. You might be very much in your head right now saying, oh my God, have I made the right decision? Am I doing the right thing? Oh my God, this is such a big jump. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm terrified. Um, so it's about stepping outside the box and looking in and seeing what is really going on and also seeing, is this really going to be a bad thing in the long run or is this probably going to be the best thing we ever did you know it's actually stepping outside and looking in rather than just looking from inside the circle where your head's just kind of mess with that eight of swords as well it's all about you do not need to rush right now it's not so unless you do obviously if you need to get out now get out but i don't feel that it is i feel that you don't need to rush so take your time to really mull over this decision with the two of wands make sure it's really something that you want to do and that you are really thinking this through before you make any decisions. I feel that you're going to have to sacrifice something either way. There is going to have to be some kind of sacrifice. So that could be sacrifice of your own happiness or it could be a sacrifice of the relationship, whatever it may be. Um, but you are going to have to make a sacrifice of some kind. But you need to listen to yourself to know which one that is going to be. Because the Seven of Pentacles is you looking at everything that you've built over the last X amount of years, everything that you've worked towards, but now you're looking at it and thinking, do you know what, some of this crap don't serve me no more. I've changed as a person and I just don't want to live this life that I live anymore with this person. I've changed, they haven't. I've grown, they haven't. I don't want to continue going over the same cycle over and over again. Maybe you have talked to your other person and not willing to change. Or maybe you haven't talked to that person and you need to so they can have that chance to change. But you want to get rid of anything that you don't want anymore so that you could put something new on, the, on there. And you've got the nine of wands. The nine of wands is about you protecting yourself and becoming independent. And I feel that, I feel, you know, I feel that you already are independent. I feel that you don't need to have this person in your life. It's more of a want. I feel that you've got your own money and, you know, you can go out and get your own place. And there's nothing really that is going to change apart from your living situation and not having someone else there. I feel that that's the only thing that would change. And obviously, if you have kids, that will change too. But I feel that you are going to be, um, you're going to be okay, but you're protecting yourself. And I feel that you are protecting um, other people around you, like your kids, which I get. I, I would protect mine. But I feel that you are in that, that stage of, I need to protect my kids, but I need to be happy. Am I going to be protecting my kids if I'm unhappy? And you're in that kind of mindset. When you make a decision, things are going to start moving really quickly and you need to prepare yourself for it. So if you've got time to breathe, breathe now. Because when you make a decision, it's going to move. If you make a decision to work on your partnership, then action is going to be taken to be able to work on it, to really know whether or not it's worth fighting for. But if you decide to walk away from it, then I feel that things are going to move and they're going to move really, really fast. You need to be prepared for it. And then on the bottom of the deck, we had the death card. And the death card is all about shedding the old and bringing in the new, just like the seven of pentacles. It's about a rebirth. It's about you stepping into who you are meant to be and why you are here on this wonderful, beautiful planet. It's about you re making a rebirth of who you are, revamping you. Um, and to do that, we need to shed the old stuff that doesn't serve us. And some of those things can be literally like... I'm just going to declutter the the sock drawer <laughs> or I'm going to declutter um I'm going I'm going to sort out the, the food cupboards and I'm just getting rid of all the stuff that we no longer want it could simply be that but I feel with this one it's a big one this is a big one for you 
So feel free to pause me if you want to, but we're going to be asking the angels a question. I'm going to ask them to answer it with the angel answer oracle card deck. So any question you want and we'll ask for an answer. Again, okay, feel free to pause me before I turn it over. Okay, so the card that they have is to reconsider. So reconsider whatever it is you are thinking of and then helpful people. So this might mean that you need to reconsider and cry and seek help before you make a full decision. If I just said reconsider and you felt icky, then your decision that you have just made in your head was the right decision. But if it said reconsider and you breathed, then it is worth going on the other, the other option. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Aries. Um, thank you for spending this time with me. If anything resonated with you, then please do drop a comment in the comment box below. Um, I am sorry, it's not the a light-hearted, beautiful read, but I can only read what the cards are telling me. And again, it won't resonate with you all. Um, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell, and it will notify you every single time I upload a video. Your videos get uploaded every Saturday at 2 p.m. It's just when I do all the zodiac sign um, readings at the week for, for the weekend. I also do daily, weekly, monthly um, videos as well, so you'll be notified when they all when they all turn up on my channel. Again, it will help me uh, reach out to more people and help them gain clarity in their time of need. So any love and support you can send my way and their way would be much appreciated. I hope that whenever you're watching this, have a beautiful day and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.